This strange week again in uh, in football. Um, how have you coped with everything that's been going on? Yeah, obviously it's been a lot different to what everyone's used to. Um, obviously over the summer, um, it's a lot of time spent alone. Um, I'm up here on my own, so uh, it was a very boring. But um, as the lockdown rules uh, broke down, I started to go out on the bike and um, managed to do a bit of fitness. So it was it was it was hard, but um, it was nice just to get back in the training ground and um, back with the lads and, you know, training for the season ahead. Different pre-season though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, especially at the start, we were all in um, small groups and stuff, but it's just nice to get back. Um, felt like a long time away from football and um, it's, been a, it's been a really good pre-season, obviously. Um, we was in small groups for a little while and then we got into the full squad stuff, which was which was really good. So the big story today is indeed that Aberdeen and St. Johnson's games tomorrow is off due to the the two Aberdeen players testing positive. What have Hibs told you regards to what you can do when you leave the, the football bubble, so to speak? Um, I think it's just to be sensible, to be honest. Um, obviously, um, the rules are that you can go out with different people from from different houses. Um, obviously, as we've we've they've told us certain things, but obviously it's just down to the individual and. Um, if you think you can go out and, and do whatever, you've obviously got to be sensible and go to places where um, you, you think you'll be fine. And um, I feel like everyone in the squad has done that. Do players have a responsibility to be sensible in that respect and not going to crowded bars or crowded restaurants? Yeah, I think I think you've definitely got to be careful. Um, and obviously with the Aberdeen players getting, getting done, um, I feel a little bit sorry for them to be honest. Um, obviously, they've they've gone out and they and they've got caught, but um, it's it's just one of them, and you've just got to, you, like I said before, you've got to be sensible. And um, obviously, the game's cancelled now, so that's going to be a lot of controversy and stuff. So, I think as players, you've just got to be really careful. Should this uh, as a warning shot? Yeah, it's definitely a big warning, I think, for the league, and you've got to be careful. Um, games getting cancelled is obviously not good for the league, so um, you've got to be sensible. Well it's, yeah, it's just about doing it all over again. Um I started slow last year, so it's important for me to to try and um continue the form I finished with last year. So um been working hard. Obviously I picked up a little injury which was um disappointing, but um feel good now. Um had some couple of weeks of good training and uh, ready to go tomorrow. And um, we've seen obviously uh, your, your form improve after that hat trick against the Johnson game. Was it just a case of confidence from that game? Going yeah, on yeah, definitely. I think um, as a striker, um, sometimes it's the hardest thing in the world is to score a goal, and it just wasn't falling for me. And um, that game against St Johnston, it just. It's, I have got a lucky one at the start, I've said many times before, and it, it just gave me a, a real big lift. And um, obviously, the harder you work, the, the more chances you get. And beforehand, I was getting chances, but I just wasn't putting them away. So that was frustrating, but just had to continue working on the training pitch and uh, try to make it right. Okay, playing in a stadium without any fans, obviously everyone's keen to get back in stadiums, but how do you motivate yourself? How does it impact on your game? I think you just got to realise what's uh, on the game, you know, um, it's three points at the end of the day and it's going to be the same for every team and obviously we've all watched the games on telly at the start and it took a while to get used to, didn't it? And um, I think that's going to be the same for the players, but um, I think our game last week, um, it wasn't too bad, to be honest. Um, you know what's what's riding on it and um, both teams are trying to win, so it was it was a competitive game and um, I'm sure tomorrow will be as well. How tough a team are Livingston to play against? Yeah, well, it's big physical. Um, it's a really hard place to to go and get points. Um, I think uh, Dykes is a, a real threat, and um, he done really well last year. So it's going to be up to us to try and stop the the good players. Very have good players as well. Though. Of course, yeah, yeah. We've got um, we've got some great players who, on any day, can can win any game for you. So um, it's important for us to to give to give them the ball in the in the right areas. Just finally from here now, I've been in Johnson situation. Is there a fear that this happens again, that football could be locked down completely? Um, it's, you don't want to think about stuff like that because obviously no one wants to, to be out of football again. So I think everyone's just got to be really careful and, and hope it doesn't happen um, to, to, to any other team and stuff like that. I'm sure they're going to learn from the situation and, and move forward with it.